we've had over 100,000 Ukrainian refugees come to the UK. And because of the generous support of uh, UK residents, you know, they are all being housed, they're not in hotels, uh, and they're being given the support that they need, which is fantastic. Uh, but as you said earlier, that commitment was for six months. And, you know, that means come October, November, we're going to see a number of those, uh, th those housing supports come to an end. And obviously, we're very concerned uh, that we then don't end up with a lot of homeless Ukrainians. Uh, so we are talking to government about how we can address this. Um, and to be fair, government has been listening to us, uh, but it's not an easy solution. Um, we hope that a number of uh, those sponsors will continue uh, to, to house uh, the, the Ukrainian refugees with them. And we're talking to government how we might encourage that. Uh, for instance, as you say, the, the thank you payment, increasing that to, to a higher amount uh, so that uh, the sponsors can be sure that it's not costing them. Um, looking at things like potentially respite uh, breaks, you know, it may be that a family wants to go away for four weeks and is uncomfortable having some uh, Ukrainians living in their home when they're not there. So maybe there is another sponsor who might be willing to take them for four weeks. Uh, we're also looking at potential housing options. Uh, how do we help Ukrainians, uh, you know, many of whom actually have work and have jobs? How do we help them into the housing market? Uh, though I am also very conscious that we have a housing crisis in the UK. I was talking about ethics with my previous guest. How concerned are you that while there are no Ukrainians living in hotels, according to you, there are thousands of Afghans who came here six months earlier who are still living in hotels in this country? Do you feel a little bit queasy about the difference in treatment? Well, well first of all, just to be absolutely clear, there may be a few Ukrainians living in a hotel because they've become homeless because their their their, their placement hasn't worked out. So, but but they are living in bulk in hotels, yes. and I think that that was one of the learnings that the government and we took on from the Afghan scheme. Scheme we couldn't do it the same way, or we would have ended up in the same situation. Uh, and I think you do learn about these things. So I thought it was very important. And there was some criticism about why aren't we just taking them to the UK now? And if you look at the Ukraine, uh, sorry, the Afghan situation, you know, literally they were airlifted almost overnight. There wasn't the opportunity to find accommodation and find people to do it. Um, but, but, you know, Lord Harrington, who is overseeing this operation from government's uh, perspective, is very clear. This is an opportunity, not just for Ukrainians, but as this model works its way through the system, it is an opportunity for, to do it in the same way for others. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Councillor, um, you say you've been in dialogue with the government, and so have we, and uh, they've given a statement, and they say it is completely wrong to suggest this scheme comes to an end after six months. We have always been clear that we are sponsors to host Ukrainians for a minimum of six months, and the thank you payments can continue for up yes. to 12 months. Uh, have you not heard this? Well, no, that's absolutely correct. But, you know, there is very clearly after six months, a number of hosts may be uh, wishing to no longer continue. And, and that's why we want to get ahead of the game. Uh, we, we've pushed government. And I'm pleased they are. They are contacting all the hosts as our councils to find out what their intentions is. So this is something about trying to think about it in advance and make sure there isn't a problem. But certainly some of the feedback we're getting is that a number of hosts, and we don't know what that number is, will be saying, actually, I've done my bit for six months. And for whatever reasons, they themselves may be moving home. They may have uh, other members of their family coming home. I don't know, from, from wherever. So there may be reasons why they are no longer able to continue. Yeah. So we don't know at the moment. So one, we need the information. Anecdotally, we are aware that some uh, some of these sponsors will not continue after six months. So I don't expect you know, all 100,000 after six months to, to immediately, so to speak, drop off the radar. No, no uh, let's, let's hope they don't because you know, they yeah. may have formed connections, you know, human bonds, which would be wonderful. But that payment of £350 a month strikes me as too low. What do you think? Uh, well, as, as I said earlier, we are asking government whether they would increase that thank you payment um, because I'm aware of some sponsors who have really tried to help 
uh, their Ukrainian guests and actually are spending far more than they're, they're getting in and, and having a higher fee would help. And in fact, there's also some discussions about, well, actually, can we move from uh, essentially having a guest in your house to more of a tenant arrangement, which may be suitable for some people if, if they happen to have an annex to their house or, or whatever. So there's a whole range of things that we're asking government to explore and, and we are exploring. Well, you're learning all the time, uh, as you yeah. said. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us about this. Um, Councillor James Jameson is... A-